In this video, we'll be walking you through the new vStitcher animation workspace and showing you how to create a variety of engaging animations. Let's start by opening vStitcher and loading a new Olivia avatar by going to 3D, Avatar, Add Avatar from Template. This is to ensure that your avatar and animation sequences are up to date. In this example, we'll choose Olivia. However, you'll also be able to mimic all the steps when working with Oliver. Olivia and Oliver are our latest parametric avatars, who are both equipped with animation sequences. This means you can change their measurements as and when needed, and still be able to use their animation. After uploading the avatar, we'll load up our pre-made garment. You can use existing snapshots and pass them to the animation workspace as they are. We'll select the pose from the snapshot list. To access the animation workspace, Simply go to the main toolbar and click the workspace selector and choose Animation. In order to transition the garment smoothly from the home workspace, click on the Go to Starting Frame to Begin Recording button. Note that you can also prepare and simulate your garment within the animation workspace. In the Resources tabs, you'll find all your avatars, accessories, and clips. On the right side in the Context view, you'll be able to utilize a variety of tools and functions that allow you to change the frame rate and animation speed, camera presets, exporting, and more. When you select an avatar, you can see which animation sequences are available for it. By default, these include jogging, walking, pause and twist, and turn 180 sequence. Now let's choose the woman catwalk walk turn 180 sequence from the drop-down menu and click the Go to Starting Frame to Begin Recording button to transition the garment smoothly from the home workspace pose to the first frame of the selected sequence. You can use the styling tool if needed, just as you would within the home workspace. After finalizing the simulation, you can set the frame rate, speed, camera movement, and Inertia in the Context view. Now let's click the Record button on the Animation bar and wait until the simulation is complete. Remember, you can pause or re-simulate the animation at any time. Once the simulation is finished, we can see how smoothly it moves. Alternatively, you can set the camera to follow the avatar, which ensures that the avatar remains at the center of the shot at all times, and select one of the camera presets which gives you a professional level of footage. For the next step, let's import a new animation from Mixamo to vStitcher. In order to use Mixamo animations, download the FBX avatar files from the link below the video. We'll start by going to the Mixamo website and logging in. Mixamo is a library of thousands of full-body character animations, captured from professional motion actors, and is free to access after signing up. Now we'll upload the BW Olivia to Mixamo FBX file to the Mixamo website. Once your avatar is uploaded, the auto rigger helps you create the rig simply by placing markers to the corresponding areas. After uploading the avatar, you can start exploring the different animations until you find the one you'd like to use. With the sliders on the right side, you can toggle between different types of movements for your avatar and customize it according to your preference.
Download the animation as an FBX binary file with skin in a frame rate of your choice. You can also import external avatar in various animation sequences to vStitcher in OBJ plus MDD format. We'll then open up vStitcher, load the animation workspace, and select Olivia in the Avatar tab. Click the Import Animation button and locate the downloaded animation. Now you're ready to use the animation sequence in vStitcher. As mentioned earlier, you can change the avatar's measurements and still be able to use the animation sequence. You'll also be able to dress, simulate, and render your animations within vStitcher. Once your animation is ready, click on the context view and under Export tab, select the output format you prefer. We'll select MP4 and Normal Render as we want to review the animation first and don't yet need the realistic representation of materials. Please note that you can render the animation with or without the avatar. Another way to export your animation is as a 3D object with animation. You can also export it to various external software applications to further enhance the environment of your animated avatar. And there you have it, an easy way to work with animations in vStitcher. To learn more about vStitcher Animation Workspace, visit our Help Center at support.browser.com.